Bayesianism says that when you receive new information, your credence in a given theory should be determined by three factors. One of them is how well the theory predicts the new information. Another factor is how well other theories predict the new information. For example, say that one person robbed the bank, and we know that it was either Alice or Bob. We find some hair at the scene of the crime, and some scientists confirm that it is... human hair! Notice, since Alice is a human with hair, the theory that Alice robbed the bank strongly predicts that there would be human hair at the crime scene. However, Bob is also a human with hair, so the theory that Bob robbed the bank just as strongly predicts that there would be human hair at the crime scene. The fact that there is human hair at the crime scene on its own shouldn't affect our credences about whether Alice or Bob robbed the bank, because they did an equally good job at making this prediction. But if we found Bob's fingerprints at the crime scene, that is something that is predicted strongly by Bob robbing the bank, but not predicted by Alice robbing the bank. To further clarify this idea, let's look at some more examples. Say your theory does a good job of predicting some new information, but all the other theories available predict the information even more strongly than your theory. Well, even though your theory strongly predicted the information, it still did a worse job than the other theories, and your credence in your theory should go down. Likewise, say your theory predicted something, but this prediction turned out to be incorrect. But all the other theories available predicted that something even more strongly. Well, since they all made worse predictions, your credence in your theory should still go up, and your credence in all the other theories should go down, because your theory was the least wrong.